All right, I'm not gonna waste y'all time. I'm gonna keep it real short, simple. You know what I'm saying? You clicked on this video for one reason, all right? Now you clicked on this video for two reasons, all right? How do I grow a beard? You know what I'm saying? Now how do I make my beard grow fast? Whatever one it is, you're gonna learn right here. This right here, okay? You wanna learn how to grow a beard? Okay, you wanna go from this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this, you know what I'm saying? Then this is the sauce for you, okay? This is called Minoxidil 5%. You know what I'm saying? This is what changed my life. So about, I could say four, four months ago, I just came back from uh, Nigeria. I went to Nigeria for a month and I seen some of my old friends, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them, you know, they started growing beards and shit. And me, I could never grow a beard. It was always patchy on the sides. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pull up some pictures and I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, it was always patchy on the sides and I could never grow a beard. So I just said, fuck it. I'm gonna just grow this little chin hair that I got. I'm gonna finesse that. I'm gonna look good with it. But me going to Africa and coming back and seeing that all my friends was, you know what I'm saying, trying to grow beards. I was like, shit, I'm gonna try to grow a beard. And I remember like about two years ago, I seen this, you know say ad for Minoxidil. I seen a whole bunch of YouTube videos on it and I seen people getting good results. So I knew about the Minoxidil, but I never used it because at the time I didn't have enough money to buy it. You know what I'm saying? It was like $45. I didn't have $45. I never had a job. So I was just like, <clears throat> I can't buy this at the time. But uh, when I came back, I was like, you know, as soon as I touch down, I'm gonna give me a bottle of Minoxidil and I'm gonna try this shit out. So literally first day of May, went straight to Walgreens. I bought me a bottle of Minoxidil and I started using it. So um, I've been using Minoxidil for about, I was using Minoxidil for about four months. You know, and as y'all can see, the results, the results are, the results are crazy. If I, if you would have told me four, five months from now, I would have had a fully grown beard. You know what I'm saying? No, no patches. You know what I'm saying? I would have told you, man, you lying. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I've been using this uh, Minoxidil for about uh, four months, and I'm um, I ain't gonna lie, the results, the results are phenomenal. I have two types of minoxidil, okay? They got the foam minoxidil and they got the liquid minoxidil. When I first started off my journey, I was using the foam minoxidil because from all the videos that I've seen and people that gained the most results, they were using the foam brand. But um, after like month two of using the foam brand and, and getting good results for sure, um, they ran out. So I started using the liquid and uh, the liquid did the same results for me. It was a little more like, you know, you have like a little tingling sensation when you apply it but it definitely was, um, it definitely did the same thing. It's just stay consistent. I applied my Minoxidil probably from once in the morning and once at night. And that was every day, I never missed a day. I never missed a day. Um, some of the things that I don't like about Minoxidil, okay? Let me give y'all some of the things. Number one, uh, it does give you flaky skin. Now, the reason I didn't try this two years ago when I first found out about it, is because I kept seeing side effects that it might make your hair thin out and it might make this and that. I'm gonna debunk all of those fucking, you know what I'm saying, allegations. It didn't make my hair thin out at all. You know, if anything, I seen like a double in the amount of hair that I grew on my face. Like my eyebrows got thicker, my mustache got thicker and I never applied the Minoxidil on my mustache. Like hair on my body kind of doubled. I don't know if that's because, nah, not really, but I mean, this was in the course of four months. You know what I'm saying? like. A lot of the hair on my body doubled, so it does not thin out your hair. But one of the side effects that I did notice was, yes, it did give me flaky skin. The skin under my beard, when I applied it, it was, you know what I'm saying? I could comb through it, scratch through it, and the skin would be flaking out and dropping and stuff. The number two, okay? So, you know, when you apply the Minoxidil, it gives like a little, kind of like an alcoholic feeling. Not alcoholic feeling, like a taste, you know? And sometimes, like, if I'm, if I'm in the gym, you know what I'm saying, and I'm sweating, that little minoxidil is gonna start dripping on you. So I ain't gonna lie, I was with this bitch one time. And you know what I'm saying? I got the minoxidil on my face and we, you know what I'm saying? We doing the do and I'm sweating and stuff. And she tried to like kiss on my neck and it's dripping and all she tasting is alcohol and it's turning her off. You know what I'm saying? So um, one thing to get around that, one thing, one way to kind of like get around that is using beard oil, okay? This is just a beard oil I bought in the shop. I'm a barber. You know what I'm saying? This is a beard oil that I bought in the shop. So after you apply the Minoxidil, wait like an hour, maybe two hours so it can really sink in and soak into your skin. Then you apply some beard oil, you know what I'm saying? Rub it in, keep your face moisturized. Uh, another thing that you should probably invest in, boom, one of these. Now, um, I bought these like two months into my journey. Um, I'm not gonna say they don't work. I'm not gonna say they do, but 
you know, I used it just to, you know, stimulate some more growth. I, you know what I'm saying, rubbed it on my face a little bit. I haven't used it in months, honestly, but I do recommend investing in one of these. Anything that can boost your growth, um, most definitely uh, invest in it. So those are the two of the things that I say you should cop, okay? Get you some beard oil, get you a derma roller. Also, get you a brush. Okay, you need a brush. It can be big, it can be small. Maybe if y'all got waves, you can use the same brush. A nice little soft brush. You know what I'm saying? Because when your beard is low, you most definitely want to keep it brushed and keep it maintained. Because when you're going through that ugly stage, it's not easy. But the only way that you can, like, stay looking good in that ugly stage is keeping you a brush and keeping you a comb so you can keep yourself well-groomed. Saying a lot of people think, like, a lot of people say, uh, trim it down, right? So that you can... You can really touch it to the scalp and it can always sink in. I don't advise trimming your beard down during your journey. It's kind of like you cutting your gains. It's like, you know, you go into the gym and you lift it heavy and then you go eat, you know what I'm saying, uh, some junk food. Don't trim your beard down. Let it grow. Let it grow. Until you reach the results that you want, then you can trim your beard down. But throughout the whole process while you're using the minoxidil, don't trim your beard down. When you're at the barber, you don't need to line it up. Because a lot of barbers, you know what I'm saying, I'm a barber myself, so I was fortunate you know enough to you know be able to groom myself but i keep it real i was taking i was you know what i'm saying pushing my line down a little lower i had to let it grow out and shit a lot of barbers gonna fuck you up if you don't you know if you're not vocal with what you want so i advise don't get it lined up just let it grow you know what i'm saying it's gonna get a little crazy there's gonna be times when you're like oh shit i don't know if i can keep this going but just stay consistent you're gonna notice little little you know what i'm saying results day by day and i promise you i promise you this is gonna be worth it um yeah I know this is like a crazy statement to make, but this, this minoxidil changed my life. You know what I'm saying? I went from, cause I'm 19. I went from bagging like, you know, 18, 19 year olds to like, bitches on their way to their thirties. You know what I'm saying? They fucking with the kid. I'm like, shit. You know what I'm saying? This, oh, you 19? You don't look 19? Like baby, like, let's shoot. I'm trying to fuck with me. All my homies and I'm a barber, like I said. So all my clients, they come in and I see them, you know what I'm saying? They got a little patch of beard. I'm like, you ever tried this? fuck with it you know what i'm saying it's not my brand but i promote it to other people because i know what it can do and uh yeah i haven't used minoxidil in about a month i'm thinking about getting back on it because i hear a lot of people saying like oh you know they they lost results but as far as i know these are permanent it's only been one month since i haven't been using it though but as far as i know these are permanent results and i hope y'all enjoyed the video i hope it wasn't too long i hope it's as informative as possible uh, uh you ain't gotta subscribe you know what i'm saying i don't really give a fuck you know, i just had to post this video let people know like you know there is something that can help you get that beard that you were looking for so if you could leave a like leave a like that'd be very appreciated i appreciate that um y'all stay safe out there and uh let me know in them comments what else y'all want to see i'm thinking about doing a little dread video you know i like i like these little transformation videos and shit let me know if y'all want to know about my dreads. I'll do a little video for y'all too, man. All right, man. Peace.